Okay, this is Cryptomano and this is my content. Seven months down the line and then um So the thing is um the first video I actually uploaded on my YouTube channel was a video on how to set um price alert on the Binance Exchange platform. And seven months down the line down the line, due to the um recent updates and a couple of other tweaks and changes that Binance has made on the exchange platform, I figured it's just right for me to you know make a new video on how to set price alert because um trying to apply what i showed or what i shared in the for, on the, in the previous video on how to set price alert to the new uh binance app and everything will be quite um confusing so i figured okay it's just right for me to you know put out a new video out there on how to you know set price alert on the binance um, exchange platform so the thing is now this is uh, uh the trading page on the binance exchange platform we have the home page market the trade right here features and then um your wallet so you click on trade right here to take you to the trading page this part right here so as you can see i just placed a trade on um fio slash btc uh i bought out um 250 satoshis and then i placed a trade at um 298 satoshi so now down to business i want to set a price alert on this particular coin so when the coin goes up to the price to the price i set as my price alert i will be notified which is the essence of the whole thing price alert get to get notified when the price rises or falls to a particular point i hope you're following so now the thing is to set price alert after placing your buy and sell order you don't necessarily have to place your buy and sell order before using the price alert function what the price alert function does is to alert you to notify you that the value of this particular coin or the price of this particular coin has risen to this particular point or fallen to this particular point and with the recent updates Applying what I shared in my previous video on how to set price alert would um, mislead you. you. You might not find the video useful. So like I said, I thought it was just um, right for me to put out a new video out there for you all. Looking for a video on how to, uh, a step-by-step -step guide on how to place, uh, place your pi uh, price alert on uh, the Binance section platform. So, uh, so now we want to place a, pri a price alert on this particular coin using this particular price 298 satoshis so the first thing you need to do on um, is right click on this part right here this part that looks like a candlestick this part right here this one once you click on this part right here you see the charts as you can see the trading pair fio slash btc the chart and then right here we have currency alert buy and sell currency alert buy and sell you simply click on alert to take you to the page where you actually place the trade alert so once you click on alert right here once you click on alert, as you can see, okay, you click on alert right here, and then it will take you to where it says this page add alerts or, or a different option might pop up. So once you click on add alert right here, as you can see, so you can actually pick one of the um uh, updates, one of the changes that Binance made with the new updates and all. As you can see from this part, it says alert type. Now you can actually set the kind of alert you want. So from this part, it says alert type. You click on, as you can see, a drop down different or uh, different options. You can actually choose the kind of um the type of alert you want. If you want to set an alert for when the price rises above a particular point, or when you want, if you want to set the price alert for when the price drops to a particular point, or if you want to set alert for when the change is over, change is down. Or 24 hour change 24 hour uh, change is over 24 hour change is down i hope you understand so the change over 24 hour period does um updates on the particular coin 24 hour change getting updates and all that now we're going to be placing a, a price alert for when the price rises above a particular point now this is it like i said um let's go back like i said we'll be placing the price alert on this particular price right here 298 so now you click on this part that looks like a candlestick click on alert why is this off taking so long so you click on alert right here to take it to the page where you placed uh, place your alert i've actually placed one i'm only making this video to show you how to make use of the um, new setting price alert function then you click on add alert right here take it to another page so you click you leave it on um, price rises above so you're trying to place a price alert for when the price rises above a particular price now the value as you can see 
We're trying to place, uh, place a price alert for when the price rises above 298 Satoshi. So you come right here, you box in 0 0.00000. There are five zeros after the de uh, decimal point actually for this particular coin. Five zeros, then 298. So now what you're simply telling the platform to do the app, you're instructing the app, you're automating the process. You're telling the app to alert you when the price of this particular coin, FIO slash BTC, rises above 298. You can also decide to set the frequency. So you can also decide to set the frequency for only once. That's for the alert to come in only once. Or just once a day or always. Only once will be the, uh, um, the right choice to go for. You click on only once. And once you create, the moment you click on this create alert, the alert for that particular pair, FIO slash BTC, for that particular price, 298 Satoshis, will be created for the alert type of when prices rises above this particular price. You're telling the app, simply send me an alert when the price of this particular pair, FIO slash BTC, rises above this particular price. And you are to alert me only once. Then you then proceed to click on create alert. As you can see, a lot successfully created. I have created one. I actually created one before. So now to see a drop down of different options. Um, now one thing you might just find confusing is okay. I set the price a lot on um zero point zero 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 two nine eight, and here I can actually see price rises above zero point zero zero. It's actually because um before it actually touches the main value, there are a lot of zeros before the main value. Now to now see a drop down of the alerts and everything to keep up to monitor it, probably you want to delete some or make a, a couple of tweaks or changes you click on this part right here click on this part to show you a, a drop down of all the price alerts you set so just have it in mind that okay yes you've instructed the app to alert you so the fact that it's showing price rises above 0 0.00 doesn't mean 0, 0.00 is what it will alert you on it will alert you when the price rises above 0 0.00000298 i hope you understand it can only display three values. That's why you're seeing 0 0.00 here. Not like you've made a mistake or you type the values the wrong way. So as you can see, I actually placed the price alert on um this trading pair XFP slash BTC 3.31. Place this um a price alert on this particular trading pair ADA slash BTC um zero point when it rises to a particular point. Same thing applies to EDX, FUN, QSP, ANT, EGLD, GRT, X, RSR, Alpha, Vite, and um, DREP, CMB. Um, the list continues. So now, uh, like I said, I actually placed a price alert before making this video. So placing this new alert would mean I've actually created two alerts. So I actually have to delete one since I only need one. I just click on this button right here as, and you can see. A message will pop up are you sure you want to delete the alert you then proceed to click on delete i've deleted one now i'm left with one which is all i need now to have to actually make um good use to make sure you're 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 using this uh certain alert function the right way your phone has to be connected to the internet that's your, your data connection has to be on for you to receive the alert just like when you're using um, some platforms you need your data connection to be able to you know, navigate the app, make use of the app, receive alerts, messages, and all that, like your texting app for apps, for example. So if your data connection is not on, by the time that particular coin rises to that point, you will not receive the alert. That, that's at that point in time. You will most likely receive it the moment you turn on your data connection, or you might not receive it at all. So to make sure you enjoy that particular function to, the, to its full extent, your phone has to be connected to the internet. Your data connection has to be on. I hope you understand. So let's imagine we actually place uh, place a place a, a price alert for a particular sell price for when the price rises above. Now imagine you're trying to monitor that coin to know when it actually drops to a particular point. You come to this part right here. It's what I call um, the manual method of um, applying stop loss. Once again, your phone has to be connected to the internet for this or oh, for you to actually enjoy this function to its fullest. Now you click on this part right here, the same alert function. Under this same trading pair, FIO slash BTC, you click on alerts. Yeah, you click on add alert right here. 
once you click on add alerts you come to this part to review once you click on this part to review the drop down of different options you can actually choose from you click on um price rises above and then you see a drop down of different options so you can actually set like i said you can actually set a price alert for when the price rises above a particular price or when it drops to a particular point so next let's say i'm trying to make sure like instruct the app to instruct me to to inform me rather i'm trying to instruct the app to inform me to notify me when the price drops to a particular point let's say 230 satoshis for example i simply click on price drops to you click on price drops to so what you're simply saying is binance alert me when this trading pair fio slash btc the price of this particular trading pair drops to then drops to you input the value right here drops to let's say 0 0.000024 satoshis for example you click on um the uh alert frequency if you want it to alert you just once or just once a day or always you click on just once only once and then you click on create alert right here once you create alert a message will pop up alert successfully created so when the price of that particular coin drops to this particular value right here you would be alerted the price has fallen to or price has dropped to this particular point or price has risen to this particular point and like i said there are different options you can choose from to be alerted when the change is over to the to be alerted when the change is down to be alerted when the 24 hour change is over or when it's down that's the the the, the, the keeping yourself updated on uh the movement of the particular of that particular trading pair over a 24 hour period this is very explanatory a step by step guide this is crypto manual over and out